While Captain Kirk's Enterprise has come across several evil villains over its course, Khan Noonien Singh certainly takes the prize for being the most wicked of them all. He is a genetically enhanced human being who appears in the original series as well as in the new releases such as Star Trek Strange New Worlds. His widespread presence is a testament to his influence in the franchise and he was quite a notorious tyrant who stirred up a lot of trouble for Captain Kirk. Today, we will explore his physiological features and unique qualities and tell you all about the role Khan Noonien Singh played in the Star Trek universe. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. Who is Khan Noonien Singh and why is he so important? Khan Noonien Singh was one of the most nefarious dictators in the Star Trek franchise and his character was portrayed by the late Ricardo Montalban. He was a genetically bred superhero, also known as a human augment, and he was born in India in 1959. He was then subjected to a genetic engineering program known as Project Khan, which was based on the eugenic philosophy that would improve the features and abilities of humans. Khan Noonien Singh was known to be one of the most brilliant characters that were genetically engineered during this period and he possessed enhanced strength, analytical abilities, as well as an extended lifespan. Khan gained control of more than 40 nations on Earth along with some other human augments. And at one point, he was the sole ruler of the nations in Asia and the Middle East. He did not oppress his people and he typically even stayed away from committing genocide or wars. But he did restrict his citizens' individual liberty and freedom. As time passed, the human augments started having fights within themselves and the nations eventually became involved in a full-fledged war, also known as the Eugenics War. While Khan persisted at first, he eventually had to accept defeat, and he then escaped to the SS Botany Bay with his 84 followers and traveled through space in a stasis state for two centuries. In the year 2267, the Botany Bay crossed paths with the USS Enterprise, captained by James T. Kirk. Khan Noonien Singh hardly took any time to recover from his cryogenic stasis, and he then tried to seize the Enterprise. However, his attempt was futile, and his crew was soon arrested by Captain Kirk. Kirk later punished them by handing them the responsibility of taming the world of SETI Alpha 5. One of the crew members on the Enterprise, Lieutenant Maria MacGyvers, was captivated by Khan during this incident, and she even tried to help him conquer Kirk's ship before finally seeing sense and deciding against this. Khan was quite unfazed by this, and he then dreamed of conquering SETI Alpha 5. However, the planet was caught in a shockwave caused by the explosion of a nearby planet just half a year after his exile. The planet then turned into a wasteland, and Khan later decided to commandeer the USS Reliant and hijack the Genesis device in an attempt to take his revenge against Captain Kirk. He did succeed in getting his hands on the device, but it so happened that the device detonated in his hands and killed him. Nevertheless, Khan did stir up a lot of trouble for the Enterprise, and the crew even believed him to be one of their fiercest adversaries. Khan Noonien Singh also existed in an alternate timeline that resulted from all the changes during the Temporal Wars. In this revisited timeline, Khan lived in places such as Toronto and Ontario at the Noonien Singh Institute for Cultural Advancement, and he was a child when he saw Lan Noonien Singh attack Sarah. At a later date, Sarah assassinated Khan in this timeline by blowing up a fusion reactor in Toronto. How physically strong is Khan Noonien Singh? As a result of the genetic engineering program, Khan Noonien Singh gained enhanced strength, just like many other augments on Earth. While Khan was certainly stronger than humans, he had even surpassed all other augments in terms of physical strength and established himself as the superior being. He was so powerful that he could rip open the doors to a locked room with his bare hands and even go as far as to snap an engineer's neck by just applying some pressure with his palms. Khan's strength knew no bounds, and he had once even impressively bent a phaser into a horseshoe shape. He could also carry heavy pieces of debris without breaking a sweat, and he once even lifted Chekhov with one hand effortlessly. I have five times your strength. Exploring some of the other major powers of Khan Noonien Singh, besides having enhanced strength, Khan Noonien Singh also had enhanced durability and his body could withstand major injuries and wounds without feeling any pain. He was also unaffected by any kicks or punches that were targeted at him and he was unscathed even after being exposed to the Enterprise's lasers. Moreover, Khan had regenerative healing abilities and it took him no time to recover from any attack. Even if his opponents managed to get him, he was genetically engineered with advanced blood platelets that gave him an incredible healing factor. He was also a genius. 
and his intellectual ability surpassed any average human's intelligence. Being a master tactician, he had a lot of knowledge on the subject of space combat. He also had a sharp memory and was known for never forgetting anyone's face. Khan was also smart enough to figure out what was going on in any situation with hardly any information or evidence. And he was also quite a convincing actor who could easily fool his opponents. Khan's genetic enhancement and intelligence combined to make him an excellent fighter and he used his strength and wit to successfully overpower most of his opponents in hand to hand combat. In some instances, Khan was more powerful than his regular self and even had magical blood in Star Trek Into Darkness. In this film, Khan's magical blood enabled him to heal the dead, and he also possessed more advanced healing powers than usual. How does he compare to the likes of Spock and Kirk? While we have established that Khan Noonan Singh was quite powerful, fans wonder if he was as powerful as Spock and Kirk. There is a clear answer to this, as Khan himself boasts about how he is five times as strong as Kirk in an episode titled Space Seed. While Captain Kirk is a distinguished character, one must bear in mind that Khan was genetically engineered to surpass most humans. He is certainly stronger than Kirk, but of course, Kirk also has his unique set of powers that might help him beat Khan in a fight. In fact, Kirk even defeated Khan during a fight in Star Trek The Original Series by bludgeoning him in the head with a T-bar. It is also said that Spock is about two and a half times stronger than Kirk. Since Khan is five times stronger than Kirk, we can logically conclude that Khan is also two times stronger than Spock. However, we don't really know the exact strength of Vulcans compared to humans, so there is a chance that Spock may actually be stronger than Kirk and Khan. Did Khan Noonien Singh have kids before leaving Earth? Star Trek Strange New Worlds introduced us to Lan Noonien Singh, as well as her brother, Manu. It is also stated that Lan was a descendant of Khan Noonien Singh, which indirectly establishes the fact that Khan most certainly had kids before leaving Earth. While we don't know how many children he fathered, he must have had at least one child on Earth in order to have such a well-established family legacy. Lan's parents, San and Ronu Noonien Singh, were one generation closer to being related to Khan, but it was Lan who suffered the most due to her connection with the tyrant. Other children bullied her due to her relationship with Khan, and her family was also captured and killed by the Gorn while traveling on the SS Puget Sound. Lan had to escape on her own, and she was eventually rescued by the USS Martin Luther King Jr. While Lan struggled a lot, she later found a friend in Una Chin Riley, and finally ended up getting posted to the USS Enterprise. Lan played a role in Strange New Worlds when she worked on Captain Pike's Enterprise, but her role in the show did not contradict any storyline established during Khan's reign of terror. Since the show was set around eight years before Captain Kirk came across Khan, no one really knew about Lan's relation to the evil villain on board the ship. Moreover, even Lan had only studied and learned about Khan academically, and she never found a chance to bring him up or mention that she was his descendant. What are some of the major weaknesses of Khan Noonien Singh? While Khan was one of the most influential villains in the franchise, he also had his fair share of weaknesses that resulted in his downfall. To begin with, Khan was quite arrogant, and he had a pompous attitude that often led him to underestimate his opponents. He considered himself superior to everyone, which came as a major disadvantage as his arrogance clouded his judgment and left him vulnerable to attacks. He also had a one-track mind, and he went on the offensive in order to target his opponents by overwhelming them. This this did not always work out in his favor, and he was even left helpless when he fought in the Mutara Nebula, where he was unable to access his tracking technology. As a former leader of several nations of Earth, Khan also had a hard time asking people for things as he was used to placing demands and ordering people around. His inflections caused others to grow suspicious of him, and he always sounded like he had something evil planned, even when he was being genuine. Strange New Worlds fixed a major issue with Khan Noonien Singh's rise to power. While we all know about Khan's rise to power during the Eugenics War, there are discrepancies in the actual timeline for these events. However, Strange New Worlds writers approached this issue quite cleverly and even used time travel in order to fix this. Initially, Khan had left Earth in a vessel in the 1990s after a full-fledged war on Earth led by the Augments, but other series have explored this issue well into the 21st century. Eventually, the writers decided to fix these historical issues. And and the episode titled Space Seed showed how Khan was ruling over 40 nations on Earth in 1993. This also meant that his ship, the SS Botany Bay ship, had already been created and that it also had stasis technology installed in it by this time. However, fans must note that this age of technology began in the late 20th century on Earth and that the SS Botany ship should technically not exist before this time. The writers fixed this issue by stating that a Starfleet time traveler had ended up crashing on Earth into the past and that the humans then 
then use the ship's advanced technology to create their own vessels. A Romulan time traveler, Sara, who had been stuck on Earth since the 1990s, further established that the world governments had found traces of alien technology from temporal wars and that the Nunyan Singh Institute was trying to use it for their own good. Sara had even tried to stop Khan, but it seemed like time was resisting these changes and that Khan's rise to power was simply a part of Earth's destiny. Conclusion To sum it up, Khan Noonien Singh was undoubtedly the most popular villain in the Star Trek franchise, and the audience also accepted him with open arms. His intimidating aura and plethora of powers made him a force to be reckoned with, and Montalban's portrayal of Khan was highly praised by fans. While Khan started out as a minor villain, he eventually established himself as one of the most threatening villains in the history of science fiction, and he has certainly created quite a legacy for himself. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!